I know that when they hear rap in Jamaica, they laugh. You can't hear, but so it's my duty to make sure that when they when when it goes in their ear, it can't be refused. I'll protect this year. It can't be refused. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's why like, I got all it's competing at the highest level and uh, anything else at the highest level I feel should align with it and support it. You know what I mean? For real, man. Yeah. What up, peeps? Welcome to another episode of Next Friday. Now, this week, we are chilling, vibing with Jackal. Jackal. Salute, what up? people. I'm here, man. Thanks for Respect, having me. Respect, man. We break the corona rules, man. <laughs> you know I mean? Shout out for having yeah, me. Yeah, man. I appreciate y'all. So, Jackal. Yes, sir. We'll start with the name. Jackal. Yes. Tell me um, about that name, bro. Jackal. After I explain it, every time you hear it after that, you, you're going to hear Jamaica. All right. You know what I mean? Um, Jackal is an acronym. Jamaican Assassin Killing All Names. All J -A -K -A -L. right. J-A-K-A-L. You know what I mean? Like, musically, of course. You of know? course. Yeah, so I take I take what I do musically extremely serious, and I feel like I just got to be at the highest point and at the sharpest point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's my craft. That's my instrument. Yeah, so man. that's what that jackal is all about. The jackal, if you know anything about it, is it's an animal that right. desert creature, man, surviving in unfavorable conditions, you know. And um, me rapping in Jamaica is an unfavorable condition because this is a, a dance hall, a reggae, ska place. Yeah. Even though we are the, the the root and father of rap, but we don't really, you know. Yeah. yeah so I got to really be strong and firm with that but so, um, yeah but wait 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 think about you know all the different genres though mm -hmm. why rap um and you said it yourself you know how jamaicans view rappers yeah 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 um for me i, I grew up in new york bro i'm a deportee yeah. i'm in jamaica because i was sent here america yeah. kicked me out after i finished doing my prison time so like when I started to rap, mm -hmm. I didn't think about being in Jamaica doing it because I was over there. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? So I just decided that I'm not going to stop pursuing what I'm pursuing because I'm now here. Right. You know, and I also understand that Cool Her, a Jamaican, started hip hop in the Bronx on Cedric Avenue. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Shout out to him. I had the opportunity to meet him not long ago. That well, was dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, so I feel a part of why rap isn't accepted in Jamaica or hasn't been fully accepted in Jamaica is because we're proud and we just don't know what's ours. Yeah. We don't care about nothing that's not ours. Like That's the Jamaican mentality. It's not ours. I don't care about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we might entertain it a few hot songs to slip through. Right. People listen to it. Don't get it wrong, like, the whole Jamaica listen to rap. You know that? You go outside, you yep. hear it flying across the street in every car, the But taxi. It, they're just not listening to local rappers. Because I believe that just like dance hall and, and well, I'm not going to say reggae. Dance hall, yes. there's a thing with dance hall fans. Mm -hmm. And it's the same exact thing with rap fans and hip-hop fans. Yeah. They only want authentic. Like, you could have a gospel singer and they could just have a dope gospel song. People don't care about their life. They don't care if they're even a gospel artist. They just accept the music. Right. It's like that with every genre except for dancehall and rap. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, man. Now, it's the same reason why we haven't had a super dope or international 
whatever dancehall artist that's not from here. Right. Every dancehall artist that bust or blew or is celebrated did it from I'll here. From yard. Now we've had other artists from overseas that have a hit song that we like right. and we vibe to, but they could walk around in the streets and nobody care about them. No matter how many millions they got or yeah. sold. Yeah. So there's a thing with us that we don't care about nothing or nobody. Now, rap, the same people that listen to rap, listen to dancehall. Right. If they could have understand it clearly. You know? The same people that listen to dancehall listen to rap. They can yeah. understand it clearly because yeah. it's clean, clear. Yeah. You can say perfect English, right? It's the same energy, it's the same vibe, it's the same life story. People coming from nothing, making themselves into Definitely. something. Definitely. It's a triumphant story. So the, the, the Jamaican people have accepted me. I believe because of the authenticity. Yeah. They know that I wasn't locked up in my room somewhere watching BET or MTV. <laughs> mimicking accents until I get I could talk like this but yeah, it's that's not all, the that's accent. all I need <laughs> it's not the accent though it's nothing wrong with that yeah because that's 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 life you know what right. I mean you see something you like it you emulate it that's 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 life but in this particular thing you need the people's support for it to work and the people don't want that right, right. from those kind of artists you know what I mean? So I think that's why I haven't worked here up until now. I think that's that's why I'm my thing is working the way it's working. Right. Because the people see the authenticity in me. As so as you mentioned that though, because as I was asked you though, what is it like in terms of the reception you get when you're in the US or when you were in the US mm -hmm. as a rapper, as a as right. compared to out here in Jamaica? It's out here. I'm a full-blown rap star. People love me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm their rapper. You know what I mean? Some of them call me rapper. Yo, DJ. Yo, my artist. You yeah. know what I mean? They acknowledge me and appreciate and even celebrate what I'm doing. In America, I wasn't celebrated because I never took it serious. Okay. People felt like I was just using that as a cover to do other activities. Mm -hmm. And I really wasn't taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was on the streets, you know, yeah. so I, I, I didn't really take it serious like I could have or should have, maybe, <laughs> you know. Now, that's it. It's all I'm, that's my, my whole focal point. Right. It's just probably one or, or a few other things that get that type of attention for me that, that I give to music, you know. Okay. Yeah. In terms of probably even, you know, Merging or doing some collabs, though. You, you, yeah, yeah. What, what are, what are some of those stars like? I mean, what artists musically you talking? Yeah, in terms of yeah, dancehall artists mixing the rap and the dancehall, oh. collaborating with some of the dancehall. Like I said, to me, it's one and the same. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I, I hear dance all the same. I hear rap. It's just different accents. Right. You know what I mean. It's the same story. The same type of people. You know. So um. I just try and work with the people I like, and I reach out to people. I, I get a lot of denials, you know what I mean? But the few people that, that do accept, you know, the work speaks for itself. They're out there, and it's, it's a blessing. Shout out to every last one of them. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. And you think that the denials are, you know, It's starting to the change same. now. You know, it's, it's starting to at change. this point, you know, because a lot of them now is, yo, why, why we never linked up to do, or you know what I'm saying, or yo, we need to link up or we need to connect up. So it's starting to change now because people are actually see the work on they energy. they seeing that people are embracing it. A lot of times, and in their defense, because I'm a realist, yeah. you know what I mean. Like an artist is a brand or a product, you know, and it's hard to align your brand or product with something that you're not sure about right. you know i know what it takes to be a recognized and a household name artist yeah when i reach a certain point it's going to be i'm going to be careful with who i work with because i'm not going to know if they're serious about what they're doing i'm i don't know you know what i mean and then yeah. it's like right now if an artist come and say yo um i'm a I'm a goth artist, right. let's just say, yeah. and they're 
full punk rock, and they're like, yo, I want to work with you. And I'm here in Jamaica as a punk rock star, but yeah. I, I, I don't know if I might work with them. Yeah, Me personally, I think, I think I'm, I'm open-minded <laughs> because I know my situation right. and I know like, I, I can see my vision clearly. Maybe that yeah. person see their vision clearly as well. But I, I'm one of the very few that looks at it that like might, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Somebody's gonna be like, what, God? <laughs> Man, come on. No, nah, that's not gonna work. And they, they might move away from that. You know what I mean? So. I understand, man. A, a lot of people can't support it because they can't see it. Yeah, it's my yeah. vision. It's, 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 everybody can't see your vision. Like, I, yeah. I can't see your vision. It's your duty, if you care enough, to explain your vision right, enough I'm or sure, paint yeah. the picture so I can see it clearly. Yeah. But that's not my duty. I, I don't, I'm not here to paint. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm a verbalist. Yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying? So if you can't really it. see it, yeah, you know, if you can't, I'm a wordsmith to be exact. Uh, you know, so if if you can't hear what I'm saying and yeah. what I'm saying can't paint a picture for you, it's all right. You see it at another time. You know what I mean? But I, I'm not gonna slow down and wait for you. I can't. Right. Yeah. There's there's something that I always, you know, wonder about, and it even it still goes back to you know us Jamaicans accepting rap, mm -hmm. rappers, local rappers, mm -hmm. and it's the whole, the sound. Now you were living in the US for a while, so you, yeah. you have that sound. Right. But for somebody who is a yard man and has never left Jamaica, yeah. Yeah. there's and a trying to rap, difference in the way you, 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 come the way you yeah. use the words and, and all that. And even if, but yeah. I, don't, I don't believe somebody like that would be accepted. That's why I believe it has been so difficult for everybody else who's attempted to rap. Right. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not the first. You know, I'm the first to reach where I've reached. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm, I'm not the first to try. I've heard countless names and I, I, yeah. I know a few of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I've tried to explain it, mm. but it's difficult to talk to another artist, especially yeah. when you're the same kind of artist. Like I could talk to a dancehall artist, I could oh, talk yeah. to a reggae artist, yeah. I could talk to, but when you're talking to a next rapper, yeah, there's always gonna be that. It's a competition. Everybody wanna be the best. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So if I'm here telling you like, yo, listen, bro, your accent is, you're gonna feel like I'm hating on you. Because okay. I, I don't want you to reach where 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 I'm at, or I'm trying yeah. to reach there first. First, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't really give no advice to no rap out here, man. To, you know, because it's it's always misinterpreted. Yeah. But I know from living overseas that, bro, the music is separated into regions. Okay. Now, New York rappers sound different from Atlanta rappers. Yeah. Atlanta rappers sound different from Texas rappers. Texas rappers sound different from West Coast rappers. Yeah, and then it breaks down even more. On the West Coast, people from the Bay Area sound different from people in LA. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when you're a real fan of rap, you could hear somebody and know exactly where yeah, they're yeah. from. Yeah, man. All right. Now, in Jamaica, our economy doesn't really consume any music financially to support it, right? So every artist in Jamaica is aim, I would believe, is for overseas market, right? Now, because they support financially, they yeah. buy the music. We not buying nothing. We <laughs> halfway tree, <coughs> CD Johnny, yeah, man. hundred songs on the CD, on a CD it, for a hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we consume our music. You know what I mean? So when the music rap in particular from Jamaica reaches over there to people who that's what they do that's what they, they know consume. it's a joke to them yeah it's a joke to them <laughs> until they hear some jackal yeah because jackal is not real even if they're not from where they know like okay that's that's that deal that's authentic okay i don't know where he's at oh he's in jamaica hold on a second what happened <laughs> What happened? Because there's obvious that I lived there. Right, right. I yeah, lived man. there, bro. I didn't visit for a few months. I lived, there. lived there. Like, I, I, I really was living that life. I and became of course, a part of that, that lifestyle. That would 
reflect in some of your, in your, the your lyrics here. Yeah, yeah, you know, and just like all of us, we 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 talk what we live. Yeah, man. you know, mus- musicians I'm talking. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, and you could. Yeah, you can look at somebody's life and 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 regurgitate it, but it's it's there's a there's just something with how a person says what he actually did right. that connects with a person that's doing that same thing. True, true, true. In terms of in terms of, and I'm gonna put it in two different categories. Right. I want I want you to tell me some of your top rap artists who you look up to. And 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 um, of course, I want to ask you who you see, you know, in the local market in terms of dancehall artists mm-hmm. as the, the 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 current hot crap now. Okay. So start. Let's start with the rappers. Who I who I who I look up to? Yeah, man. Um, looking up to is a tricky word. Man. I'm not gonna use that. But who right, inspired me? In your words, yeah. yeah like <laughs> I draw inspiration. Musically and just the way he moves in the business, a lot of inspiration from Jay Z. Yeah, you know what I mean. I I I really relate to that. Yeah. I like that. You know what I mean. J- um, Jigga would have been every rapper's top five. Jigga happy night. I would think so. <laughs> yeah. But funny enough, I was just listening to an interview with Funk Flex, who's a top DJ from New York, who don't yeah. do. He don't feel like Jay Z is in the top five. <laughs> I was literally just watching it on my phone, so it's off. Phone, but disagree with you. <laughs> I, I, I disagree, disagree with him as well, but you know yeah, what I mean. Man. Um, so Jay Z definitely musically and business wise, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, Master P business yeah, wise, like yeah, I, 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 his his business moves is inspiring. Yeah, you know. Um, same thing with Puffy. Yeah. Same thing with Baby, like their business moves inspire me crazy. Yeah, man. You know, um, musically, um, I draw inspiration from a lot of places, man. You know, Jada Kiss, I believe, is one of the best yeah. to ever do it, you know, lyrically. Um, I listen to whatever moves me man. you know what i mean yeah. like whatever moves me me i rap with me yeah you know like um r.i.p the nipsey i was really feeling this campaign yeah, like that right. last album was crazy you know i was looking forward to what would be next yeah you man. know what i mean yeah. um i just i just not long ago um found out about a rapper named benny the butcher He's big, like, but I just, I don't listen to a lot of people's music because I don't want to sound like nobody. So I don't really, right. li- if I hear it on the radio, if it's playing in my car, mm-hmm. yeah, I listen to it. If somebody playing it on the block, I listen to it, but I don't go out my way to try and listen to it. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. But um, I've been hearing about Benny Man for a few years and I heard a song and it, it just made me download his album, the last album. Yeah. And it's the second album in a while the first one was Nipsey when Nipsey dropped his right, album right. that I could listen to from beginning to end and um and then this one no yeah, it's one yeah, that yeah I, I listen yeah. to the whole album from beginning to end I work out to it and all that you know what I mean okay. so yeah um you hardly find those type of albums these I'm days t- because for me it got that late 90s, early 2000s yeah. vibe. And that's my, that's my era, you know what I mean? So like, I mean, I could have tell based on the artist that, that you name. Yeah. O- yeah. Outside of probably Nipsey. Right. I mean, yeah, so exactly. Really exactly. From that era. You know, so, so that's what I, that's what I, um, that's what I tap in with. Yeah. Dance hall, dance hall, or in, in Jamaica in general. Yeah, um, man. Who I listen to? I listen to a lot of Skilly. Yeah. A lot of Skilly Bang. Like he, on top of his game right now, in my opinion. Yeah, you, you, you know? put him in the top five artists. In the new school? Artists. In yeah, the new, yeah, new, new school, new school. I put him as the number one. The number one. Yeah, <laughs> me personally. Yeah. The, 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 because, bro, you Why? see the work rate 
Yeah. Like, you got to think about it. It's not... He just dropped a project that I'm on, mm-hmm. The Prodigy, with, I think, 34 songs on there. All right? All right. And that was December 23rd. Since then till now, he dropped at least eight songs. Yeah. Different from that. Yeah, man. That we've never heard before. <laughs> And leading up to the mixtape, the whole, and remember, bro, he's only been here for a year. Yeah, man. Skilly, I put in the work, man. <laughs> so, so when you take all of it, just, he got at least out in the general public. Right. Just in the atmosphere, he got probably 200 songs out, bro, in one year. We got 365 days in a year, right? Yeah. So let's just say he did one a day. He worked for 200 days. Yeah, man. What? So so like so like oh cartel you some over them there road. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> you know what put I mean? out the so, music, put out the music. Yeah, you yeah, know, man. and to me, that's greatness, bro. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody else ain't doing it. You know? Everybody, that's yeah. it's cause it's not easy. Yeah. And it's not like it's trash neither. The songs is fire, they connect and that's all you're hearing in the streets. Yeah man. So why 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 isn't he the number one on everybody's list? Or why wouldn't he be? Why wouldn't he be? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I listen to a lot of Skilly. Uh Popcorn, um, Dry Island, uh A lot of music, bro. Yeah. You know, I like Damien Marley stuff. You know what I mean? Chronic stuff. You know, um, what you call it? Black hero. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Um I listen to a lot though. Like I'm, I'm yeah, like I'm my ears are open. Once yeah. it's once I could connect with it, I'm rapping with it. I don't I don't yeah. care who it's from or, or none of that. Quality music, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? In terms of in terms of producers though, who who are some of the producers that they work with? That I've worked with out here? Yeah. Uh, Why Rush? Yeah. Produce a lot of my stuff. Uh, I worked with 3D. He produced some early stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, 3 or 40 they produce a bunch of things, but you know them from the sound like with me and me and Skilly Bank. They produce okay. that. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Black Sheep, you know. Once the rhythm is fire, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, tough chin. But like a lot of the big names, yeah. They don't I haven't gotten anything from them, so I haven't really worked with a lot of them. Okay. I can't even think of um I can't really you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, Zoom. Yeah. Good good production. Yeah, One life. Mm-hmm. That's that's his you know what I mean? And it's I just work with who, who, who wants to work with me, yeah. for the most part. When, in terms of just hanging out now, I know because, I mean, I usually, you know, you see entertainers, like dancehall artists or reggae artists mm-hmm. them in studio and them hang out with each other. Mm-hmm. In terms of, you know, because there are not many rappers <laughs> right, right. here. So, yeah. you know, how, how do you align yourself? You know, we are hanging with who um, are you par it? <laughs> Musically. Musically. I mean, uh, any of the entertainers. Yeah, I do, yeah. man. Um, Skilly's a friend outside of music. Okay. Um, Popcorn is a friend outside of music. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm not going to lie to you. I know everybody in the business. Right. You know? I believe it's easier for them to deal with me because they don't see me as a threat. I'm not another dancer yeah, or artist. No, I'm no, not no comp- to, yeah. yeah, I'm not trying to outdo them. Different, the lane, different lane. You know, so yeah, it's more. easier for me to, you know, connect yeah. with people that's within the music business. Yeah, you know, so um, it's a lot of people, man. Um, Munga, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just, we, me, I, we got a song that's going to forward out soon called You Know The Vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like crazy, crazy. I'll let you hear it before we go. Yeah, yeah man. Moonga, I'm a general, man. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm, I'm always going to draw a blank for the most part because I can't remember everybody all the yeah, time. Yeah, man, yeah. You know what I mean? Right, but, right. Yeah, that's, that's basically, I, I keep it close. 
I don't really hang out with a lot of people. I believe in protecting your energy and, and staying focused as well right. because you could be around, you could be an artist and your situation is going phenomenal right. and I, I, I'm around you and I get caught up and lost in your situation and, and don't focus on what I'm supposed to do. Right. You know, so I, I really just, I try to lock in because I don't feel like, I know I'm getting closer but I know so much, so much, so much left to do that is I, I don't even have the time to do much. Right. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm in a war against sleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every time I'm about to fall asleep, I'll be like, <laughs> No, can't afford that. <laughs> what? How much do you, oh, you relax now, huh? <laughs> and then can't I pop up and that. can't sleep for, for hours. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But um, it's, it's cool, man. I, I'm. Yeah, man. I feel I feel accepted by the industry. I know I am. You know, yeah. Just by the treatment, the, the way they embrace me when we, we cross paths in, in real life, you know? Yeah. 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 But where is it that you would want to, you know, take the whole rap game, you know, your your what's your musical goal, you know, for your career? Alright. Um my musical goal is to be recognized and accepted and everything that comes along with that as top tier. A top tier rapper. Top tier rapper. Yeah. Aligned with whoever you consider to be top tier at the at whatever time that discussion is popping up. Right. I won't feel comfortable until my name is in that yeah. lineup. Yeah. You know, and I I feel that it's important that it's done from here. That's why I haven't really tried to leave here. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't really realize that there's a set of people that hasn't had a voice. You know? Out here, that's the deportees. Yeah. Like, I'm the voice and the, the face of that. I don't have a problem with that. Right. Because when I got deported, there was a stigma associated with being a deportee. Yeah. And I felt that is my duty to shift that, to change that. I feel I already killed that. That's the part, you, you, see, you remember when I told you every time you hear my name after, you're going to think yeah. about Jamaica? <laughs> There's some things I got to kill in this world. Right. That's why I'm the Jamaican assassin.